very nice it just take you back to <laughs> TTK. My name is Kemi Junado. I am back again with another Selling It Just The Way It Is chat series. So guys, stay tuned. Thanks stay for tuned, coming guys. back to my channel. And if you're new on my channel, please do not hesitate to click that subscribe button. Click that subscribe button. It's free. It would not cost you anything. Click the subscribe button. Okay, okay. things to do at home when you're bored. The first thing to do while we're still on lockdown is to pray. We have to keep praying. As the death rate keeps soaring, we need God's intervention. We do need God's intervention. Even though we need to keep to the rules of staying at home, you know, social distancing and all that. But we need to call on God. I mean, I am aware that we all practice different religions. But whatever religion we practice right now, prayers is key. We need to call on God. That's the Another first thing, thing you could do without getting bored at home is to read books. Read books. I won't be giving you a list of books that you could read right now just because you can only read what is available to you. And right now, since we're on lockdown, we don't have access to all these books. But there's a place where you can read interesting stories, articles, and even e novels, e books online. And I'm going to leave the address on my screen somewhere, somewhere up there or down there. Sorry, you could um, log on to Wattpad and read free, interesting stories. They're nice, interesting stories on Wattpad. That was introduced to me when one of my followers um, discovered my short stories online, and um, he recommended I register on Wattpad, where you get paid to publish your stories and. When people read I mean, your you stories, you Wattpad and register, and there are some stories you can read on there for free, or even novels, e-novels that you can read there for free. But there are some that you need to pay to have access to. So you have the you have both options basically. And for those who do not know, I enjoy writing. I love writing, and I enjoy reading fiction, not fiction, biography. I I really love to read, and sometimes I love to read some political book and it depends though it depends on who the writer is and what that and what the um, book is. i've also music is another interesting thing you could do at home i find that i went back to listening to those old gospel music ballad and so very nice it just take you back to another thing things. you could do at home if you're really really bored is the obvious if you watch movies both the old time movies the new ones and there are lots and lots of movies on netflix i will recommend a few um the first one is shawshank it's redemption redemption by tim robbins and um, morgan freeman i love morgan freeman and um, the second one i would recommend is beast of no nation and i guess i think idris elba star in that movie that's another interesting another one. one that i like and that is just my choice is barry and this is because barry um is about um obama barack obama and i wanted to watch this movie because it's about barack obama and the reason being is that i read um dream from my father and the audacity of hope those books so i just wanted to see if everything i read in those books by barack obama the the audacity of hope and a dream from my father are all in that movie hmm. anyway i'm not doing a movie review today but um i will recommend you could um watch barry and another one you could watch is miss americana miss americana i think um taylor swift feature in that so it's another interesting one and another one is Dolemite is my name. <laughs> Dolemite is my name is another like a comedy sort of movie by Eddie Murphy, you know, the popular Eddie Murphy. That's another interesting one you could watch. Another interesting one you could watch is um, The Irishman. 
the Irishman, Robert De Niro feature in that movie, that's another good actor. Um, Al Pacino also feature in that movie. And um, another one again you could watch is um, Black Panther, the popular movie. <laughs> that popular movie, you know, the African nation of Wakanda. Sounds familiar? If you haven't watched it, I guess everyone has. But if you haven't watched that movie, it's on Netflix. You can watch that one too. Another one is The City of gold that's another interesting one you know what i'm going to do at this stage is i'm just going to put a list of the nice the few nice ones i will recommend that you guys should watch if you're looking for something to watch i'll Good put them on I this just side for watching the american and british movies but for now yeah i'll put the lists on the side for you guys oh and i'll also link them down below if you're looking for something to watch and you don't know what to watch okay <laughs> Hi, Nigerian Yoruba movie lovers. I would recommend a few. A few like Oloremi, Ife Ayeraye, Iyawala Bere. Um, I will leave. I will leave a list of few down there somewhere. These movies were recommended to me by friends and family and they're very, very interesting. I would like you guys to recommend an interesting movie to me as well. I'm recommending my, I think about five of them, but I will leave the list there somewhere or somewhere. So I guess you guys enjoy this movie. I wish I could speak in books so I could watch some Igbo movies as well because those two can be interesting. From the list of movies that are, that I already recommended or suggested to you guys, um, I am not a science fiction lover. I am not a horror movie lover. So it's in those lists, you will not find science fiction. You will not find horror movies because I just don't watch them. It's not my kind of movie. So if you're looking to watch that sort of things, you won't find it here, in the, not on this channel. And not on my recommendation list, okay? Um, I'm partly into historians, and I'm kind of finding, I'm kind of liking documentaries. So like drifting towards that as well. So yeah, um, if you want me to recommend some list, a list of documentaries that I have watched, can you indicate in the comment section, please? And I will... Another thing that. we could do, another thing we could do at home and is beneficial to our well-being is exercise. Exercise. Hmm. Every day is another chance for us to eat better, be stronger, live healthier and be a better version of ourselves. I did mention in one of my videos that I find it difficult to exercise outside. I, I prefer the gym. But since the death rate keeps soaring, I got really scared. And um, I need to take all the precautions that is available to me. So now I have decided to work out at home and do my exercise at home. I discovered an effective workout channel. I will recommend this channel for you. They're known as um, Pop Sugar Fitness. I will leave the link there somewhere below. I'm not being sponsored, but it's quite effective. It's a 30 minutes workout. If you try this workout for the very first time and you cannot complete the 30 minutes section, it's fine. Don't get put off. You can just do 15 minutes and then you try again. You complete the other 15 minutes. Take breaks. It's very, very effective. I was sweating. Guys, I was dripping, sweating, sweating. It's very very effective I find that when I don't exercise because I just I said it in my last video I don't exercise only to lose weight it just boosts my energy level and I feel good after it's very very good so I recommend this channel during current yes. time they went from about 20k 20,000 views to like 18 million or 17 million that's, that tells you something. A lot of people use that channel, use that link. Another below. beautiful thing or interesting thing you could do, if you're somebody like me, if you love cooking, you could put your cooking skills into action. Bake, do a lot of baking. But healthy food though, healthy food. You can be creative with food. I find that you can be creative with food. Yeah, I love to cook. 
but in little quantity i'm not a type that um cook for the whole streets or for the whole for a large number of people no mm -mm. then we need the kitchen another it's thing right. another thing you could do when your board is drawing is drawing it's fun to draw <laughs> i can't believe i'm actually saying this to you guys it's actually fun to draw the first time i discovered i could draw was when i I was doing a course at the London School of Fashion and part of the models, part of the models requires you to draw. And I discovered the creativity, the artistic part of me. I was very happy to draw. Then I drew a number of things. I even drew for my um, short stories, some of my short stories, not all of them, though, but some of them, some of them. So you could draw a hobby, draw children, mama, Get your children to draw you compare your drawings you know you can just wear something and get them to draw and then you, it's fun you laugh about it because you get different drawings different funny drawings but it is fun although it sounds so childish but it is a fun thing to do it is fun i find the next one i'm about to talk about or suggest or recommend to you guys is you can join another social media called tiktok <laughs> i know it's pretty funny and i all along i thought it was a teenage thing because i could see that a lot of teenagers and youths were on it i was not interested until i begin to see um some old school like moi on tiktok it's pretty fun it's fun i mean you can try it if you're into that sort of things and if not move we move you move <laughs> and if not you can try something else or do something else. another yes. another interesting thing you could do is watch money heist i did not include this in my list of movies because it's a series so i, I just decided to talk about it on its own so you could watch money heist i will leave the name there up there somewhere and you could watch the English version because you could also find it in Spanish online, but there is the English version. And guys, I will warn you, my family are like into this thing. They watch, they basically watch all the series. It is addictive. Money Heist is addictive, but it's a good one to watch. Very good. Thrilling suspense is full of all sorts. And by the way, you have to be 16 to watch this okay another thing you could do especially if you're not living on your own is to play the vocabulary game it's pretty interesting i love this game um there are rules to the game what it is basically all about is the use of words if you're a player you come up with a word and the other player will tell you the meaning aside telling you the meaning they'll tell you the meaning use it in a sentence and you find that you find some players making up words that don't exist that is a penalty that is a penalty so you might have to deduct points for whoever got the penalty all you need to play this vocabulary game is either a laptop or a dictionary if you have a dictionary it's fine so you can look up words or if you just have your laptop you could go online to look up words the meaning of words or each player will come up with a word and um, you tell the meanings you use it in a sentence it's very very interesting and i think it helps you with building up your vocabularies that's another nice game i like to play you can also play chess poker or scramble i like to play chess you play chess more um i like to play chess or poker it improves problem solving skills it helps with focus and concentration chess improves creativity it's um, also prevent Alzheimer's, you know, a sort of brain cell diseases, some some sort of brain disorder when the brain cell dies, something like that. But it prevents that. You know, when you play shares, they recommend it has a lot of benefits to, especially with the brain. Shares rates your IQ. We do not really bother with scramble because we already played in vocabulary games scramble you have to use words as well play around with words so we're already doing that with the vocabulary game so we just did not bother snake and ladder that one there 
and got Ludo at the back. Okay, guys, I have come to the end of this video. Let me love you and leave you. Have a nice week. Have a nice day. Ta-ra!